Hello everyone, this is Pause the Cat, and welcome back to another tutorial for Minecraft Windows 10 Edition. So, in my like 30 differences video between Minecraft PC and Minecraft Windows 10 Edition, I said that you couldn't get custom textures, and after that I made a follow-up explaining how I wasn't quite able to get them. But now I figured it out. I have completely figured out a way, courtesy Raymond Ornelis, sorry if I mispronounced that, but thank you for your fantastic comment explaining how to get custom textures in Minecraft Windows 10 Edition. Without this guy, probably would not have figured it out, so thank you, my friend. So first of all, we're going to want to set up a folder for putting in any custom texture packs that you want. Okay, so let's bring up our file explorer, then go to this PC, then for me it's in your local disk, which is the C drive most likely. Yes, I realize that I don't have much space. I will be clearing it out some, don't you worry. Okay, so go in here, then click users, then your username, then go to app data, then actually go to local instead of roaming like you would for the regular PC version. Then you want to go to packages, which is down here in the P. So then we want to go to microsoft.minecraft.uwp underscore, what, it'll be different for you, but this is what it is for me. And just open that up. Then next we want to go to local state, right here. And then we want to go to games, com.mojang. Then we're going to make a folder exactly like this, named resource underscore packs. I already have it because I already downloaded te a texture pack, but most likely, if you haven't done this before, you're going to have to create this folder exactly. Okay, now that we have that all set up, let's go to a website that actually has some textures for Minecraft Windows 10 Edition. Okay, so I'll have this part of the Minecraft forum linked in the description, but it's just in the Minecraft PE texture packs. So. One of my favorites is John Smith Legacy. Probably won't be using it, but I thought this would be a good one. So why don't we just click on this? It's a 32 by 32 pack for each block. All right, now we just have to click this kind of small and obscure download button, and we will have it. It it uses um, Mediafire, which is not my favorite at this point. Now we can find that folder again by going to Users, and then your username, app data, local, then packages. Then we want to find Microsoft.Minecraft again. Let's see, it should be in here somewhere. There it is. Then we want local state, games, com.mojang, resource packs, and this is where we will save that folder. And then we can go on to the next step. So click save, just that name is fine. Now once we have that in the folder, we can go back into our resource packs folder and we want to extract it. So click OK, it's fine. Yep, and then we go ahead and go to extract all, then extract. Then it'll just go through this loading process really quickly. No big deal, it doesn't take very long. Okay, all right, we have that extracted now. So if we go in here, we should just see it like this. But keep in mind, you will want to delete this. You want to delete this because if you leave it, your game might crash like mine did when I left it. So make sure there are no zipped folders in this resource packs folder. Otherwise your game might crash and that's not a good thing. <laughs> All right, now we can go into our Minecraft Windows 10 edition. All right, now that it's loaded, we can just go to Options and Texture Packs, Manage, and we can see I have one of them is like the texture pack that I got earlier, and then one of them is the one that I just showed you. So we can just throw that one on there, exit out. Now, when I go back into my game here, we can see our world is all 
custom textured out. So there we go. That's that's all you have to do to get custom textures. Um, so yeah. Hopefully that was helpful to you. It was definitely helpful to me to figure that one out. Um, Alright, if you like the video, do give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this one, do subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.